day 10, technician still leaves tools unattended. Okay, what about today's handover? Hold up, quality engineers in snitches. We are just trying to make sure everybody is doing the right thing. Hi, I'm Farhan, 32 this year, and I'm a quality engineer. I ensure that the quality system in my company, Singapore Aero Engine Services, is robust and well managed. Quality engineers can also be known as QA or QC engineer. Ultimately, we have the same goal, which is to ensure the company meets the quality standard expected of them. These standards are in the best interest of product, services, process, and safety. I work in the aviation industry and my company repairs, overhaul, Rolls-Royce, train engines. When I first joined the company, I thought my job revolves a lot around the engine. Engine comes in, engine goes out, we make sure that it's perfect and then next, engine's place. Quality standard doesn't only revolve around the final product. It has got to do with people, facility, tools and work processes. So I have to look beyond the engine itself. When given the opportunity to first see the Tren 1000 engine, when you see it from far on an aircraft from the airport, it's pretty small. But when you come close, it's like I'm huge. I'm like, oh sh. Sorry, was that allowed? Anyways, the experience was very memorable. Typically in a day, we have quality inquiries. These inquiries can come from all over the department. It includes inquiries on maintenance document or even airworthiness regulations. We also have engine induction. We sit together, have a meeting, and understand what kind of maintenance is required for this engine. We also do a lot of audits. We do internal audits, vendor audits, and even external audits. External audits is when external authorities or even operators come into Cezal and ensure that whatever that we do meets their requirements and standards. When we talk about vendor audits, we go out to our vendors and ensure that they have everything in order. Then there's inspection. We do engine inspection when they are about to go out of the shop. We also manage the approval holders. Approval holders are personnel who have been given the authority and signing off and taking the responsibilities that whatever that they have already done is in accordance to the engine manual. We walk the shop regularly to ensure that everything is being done in order. Then there's investigation. When a problem is highlighted to us, we have to address them immediately. I graduated from Polytechnic with Electrical Electronics and Engineering Diploma. Then I move on to getting my degree in Bachelor's Engineering in Mechatronics. Well, I do not have an aviation-related education, yet I'm still in this industry. What you need is to be able to understand the requirements set by the authority. As long as you can apply those standards and requirements, man, you, you are good to go. One misconception, we were known to be policemen. Let me get this right. We are not policemen. We are quality engineers. Kind of sus. Rules and regulations are set for a reason. One of them is to ensure product safety. Some people are not aware that they are doing the wrong thing. We have to correct you on the spot. The way the rules and regulations are written sometimes can be technical and written in a specific way. We need to be able to follow the logical flow and understand the directives. Being meticulous is an added value. And also try to understand the different perspectives from your co-workers. Very often we have to explain rules and regulations in a perspective of a technician, engineers or even a support staff. We quality engineers relay a message from a piece of paper to the people around us. It is more meaningful when we understand the reason and purpose behind the things that we do.